ACC, Pittsburgh, 8 and 16, picked up their first ACC win against UVA a week ago and a great matchup where they played a lot better defense. Who, what is your purpose? What is it beyond the game that you play for? Your, your family, your friends, your self-respect. Kara Dunn with a long three, partner. Yeah, that's the three ball there by Dunn. And here you see is running right in front of us this platoon substitution. So Georgia Tech's got to, with the personnel that's in there, make a difference right now. Tend to shoot. Swartz going to put it up from the corner and bury a three. Cameron Swartz. Watch the travel here, the feet. Nope, yep. that's the actual Brown. Bam. What the what? I mean, she can shoot short, she can shoot long, but silky smooth either way. That's a finger roll off the glass for Pitt. Good rebound there by King. And hard pass is going to be through the hands and Tech on the run. Fast break done off the glass and in. You can just see the ball reversal. Very careful ball reversal trying to break down that backside defense. These are two of the hardest working teams in the conference. It may not always show up on the light bulbs. And Schwartz, once again, buries a three. Your own defense is sort of in your way when you're trying to defend it. Your own player sometimes gets in your way. Tend to shoot. Here's King. King gets around the defenders and has a wow. great look. The defensive schemes that Georgia Tech are running in these pro sets, they are not easy to learn. They're color-coded. Right. They're highlighted. And you, you think uh, Peyton Manning has a lot of audibles? How about the cut to the basket? Here's Schwartz. Morgan uses a bit of a screen and is going to get a good look and drain it. Schwartz, six points early. It was out to Dunn. Carter, three. Yeah, rattles it home. Now, you know, thought about passing. Here's Harris for three. Going to try to answer, and it's going to be nothing but net. That's the way you for, answer the ball. Yeah, Dacian at Harris, the senior. Here's Lewis. See that little toss back there? Yeah, King's going to wow. go to the hole and put it up and in. That freshman's got a bright future. Absolutely. She can take it off the bounce. She can stop and pop the mid-range, which is a lost art, but she can take it to the rack. And she's just getting in yeah, the extra reps. You know, what I, you know what I say about yeah. freshmen. You can't play with them. You can't <laughs> play without them, partner. Carter puts up a three, and she's going to bury it. Uh, Pre-game pre shots she was taking. Hutcherson is going to dish it to Hayford. Hayford out of the Netherlands. Now turn around. Wow. What a no-look shot by Hutcherson. The, uh, like how quickly someone can pull the trigger on the shot when you're shooting. Jackets have quick a, trigger. Yeah, Jackets have a two-plus minute scoring yeah. drought, and it ends right there with Jackson. Harris, King, Exeter, Lewis, and Strickland back in the game for Pitt. Here's Strickland for three, and a whistle as it buries. They're going to count the basket. Yeah. Lewis. Now spin move underneath the basket is going to be up and in by King. Cuts in the lead, 28-25. Juan Ardenez back out. She works around the defender and puts it up and in. Not making things more difficult than they are. Schwartz. Well, she's lost her shot short on that one. And then back up and in Who as else? Carter. There's Lewis off to Strickland. Now no one in the lane, an easy up and in by King. Blackshear, Schwartz, good defense by Pitt, forces Schwartz to get rid of it. Now from the free throw line, it's up and in by Jackson. Looking for my lunch pail players, usually on defense, but it might be on offense tonight. Strickland, three, yeah, high arcing, laser beams. 319 left here in this first half. So we're moving the ball faster than the zone can recover. You can't let the ball think. And a three. How about Jackson answering once again? The hot hand belongs. By the way, Jackson's three-point defense is third in the ACC, and that's going to be a steal. Fast break. Harris Schwartz is able to get down there and smack it out of bounds. This, the wheels by Schwartz to get there, and boom. All ball. Harris slides out of bounds. Wow. We're going to have a special presentation. Tasha Butts is going to address the crowd here at halftime. There's up and in. 
Harrison's been a sleeper this season. She has come in and given big minutes. When I was a young player, and yeah, that's, that's Johnson player. That's not, man, money ball. <laughs> Just put it in the book. You have put in everything that you're going to have for the season, except maybe one little out-of-bounds fight. You're putting it all together. Blackshear with a shot clock off, five to shoot. Now Pitt going to have to hurry the game off with the possession here in this second half. And then quickly, Strickland pulls the trigger. It's going to bounce and drop in. Looking for some help. She gets it from Brown. Now shot up by Johnson, and it's a three ball for the Pitt Panthers. The Jackets need some good energy and some points. A little hop step up and off the square and in for Dunn. I think for Georgia Tech, it's so interesting how they're really battling the same things right now. Schwartz will drive in. Maybe that'll build her confidence. 47-43, Jackets back out by four. Strickland against Schwartz. She goes the finger roll, a little scoop. King, one on two. She's going to slow it down and then feeds it to her teammate up off the glass and in. It's just going to come down to a gut check, player for player. Both these teams are hungry. Both these teams are trying to find a way to win. Juana Don is going to get the rebound and put it back up. Tech can't extend the lead, so here is Pitt trying to tie this thing up or take the lead. Spin around the defender. What? Glass off a beauty shot what? there by Johnson. Made me promise every day I'd call my mom every day I was away, and I kept that promise, yeah. and now I'm home taking care of my mom. Yep, and inbound off the Jackets. Looks inside, stays around the perimeter. Nathan, you see her directing traffic on the yeah. inside. She's sealing off right there. Gives Morgan just a perfect lane down to the basket by sealing her. Strickland needs some help. She gets it. Brown inside. Now a spin move. Step in and nicely done by Leah to King. And a hard pass inside. Done. Has it blocked. The Pitt Panther is going to go back the other direction, and you're going to get a whistle. Eight seconds. Five. Got to do something with it. Three. Underneath. Washington is going to get it to drop. And that's the final points here in the third quarter with the Pitt Panthers. Hermosa inside. Blackshear kicks it back out to Morgan. Morgan's going to drive in. Off the glass and rattling in. Alicia Brown. The Washington's got a good look and buries a three-pointer. Out of Fairmont, West Virginia, the freshman making it happen for Pitt. Her, that's underneath. Hermosa is going to put it up and in. Brown kicks it to Strickland. Strickland makes a nice move. Now Brown, great ball movement by Pitt. All the way up and in by King. Not going to get there, actually. Does not fall, so Georgia Tech stops. Pittsburgh, boy, they need points, and they're going to get some. Nothing easy underneath the net. Blackshear coming up big, just catch it. There it is, inside out. Brilliant. The Jackets retake the lead, 62-61. Morgan. See it past Schwartz underneath. Hermosa, there you go. Great ball movement on a set piece by Georgia Tech. Johnson. And then a long three is going to be drained by Lewis. That's an answer. Eight to shoot. Brown, her teammates got to let her know there's five as Johnson puts up a three ball. Doesn't touch anything but the put back by Strickland. Time and score right now. Second team foul for, and then a missed communication, and it's a tie game, 68-68. Stay calm, stay cool, make your routes, and then take the read. Morgan from the elbow off to Blackshear. Basically a free throw is good. Blackshear gives the Jackets the lead, 70-68. She's going to do a spin move, turn around, off the glass, no good. Put back up by Brown, no good. Got to get it back up, six seconds to shoot. Stolen by Georgia Tech. Here's Morgan. Shot it out of there like a cannon. She'll shoot two. And missed the first. Three for five. 2.5 seconds left. She makes that one, so it is a three-point game. Pittsburgh will call a timeout. 2.5 seconds. Got to get it in. They do. Lewis, three. Yes, it's in! Pittsburgh ties the 
the game 71-71. Here is the replay. 71-71 of the three-point shot. That is good, and Pittsburgh has tied this game. <laughs> and we will have an extra. <laughs> this is an opportunity when the overtime comes. This is any man's, this is any woman's game. This is anyone's chance to step up and be a difference maker. And there is Dunn. We've talked about her timely basket. She has another one, 73-71. She's been there, done that, played most of the game, so she's comfortable with the rhythm of the game. Harris, our feature player, that hits everything and then finally drops in. Tie game 73-73, 90 seconds left in this one. So if you're going to trade buckets, it comes down to possession, but you have to have some kind of separation here. Step in, two-pointer, great off the glass by Dunn. She's got all four points here in the OT period for the Jackets. Harris uses the screen, puts it up. Yeah, drains it. 75-75, under a minute to play. Works inside, it's stolen by Harris. Yeah. Just push the easy button. Yep. You know, from here on out, you just push the easy button. Harris, little stutter. Turn around, hands in her face, not going to go. Rebound by Dunn and the Jackets. Shot clock is off. Morgan, seven seconds. She's going to go straight towards the glass. No good, bouncing around. Pittsburgh is going to get it and call a timeout. So here's a chance to be a hero. Here's your chance to go with it. Here's your chance to make a play. Inside is going to be tossed towards the basket and now no foul called, I don't believe. A scoop and a score is exactly what Pitt wants. All right, Hayford. Here is Strickland. She touches it. She's got to put up a long three. Not going to get there, and we will go to a second OT. Dunn back to Schwartz. Now they go inside. Now back to, back out to Dunn. She goes baseline and a beautiful move by Dunn. I've seen it happen. I saw Ronika Hodges single-handedly beat Maryland 5-0 in overtime. I mean, it can happen. Here's Harris. Harris answers off the glass. And this is a chance to see who's going to go the distance in double overtime. Harris left all alone, and she has an easy basket on the finger roll. Inbound, Harris is going to take it, and oh, the offensive board going to be put back by King. Approaching one minute to play. Morgan, seven to shoot. She puts up a three ball, not going to go. There's the 50-50 ball Black we talked here. about. Oh. There's Brown, five to shoot. Got to know it. Harris, three to shoot. Puts up from the elbow, not going to go. It does hit the rim, and it's bounced around, and Pitt will have it with a shot clock off. There's going to be a foul here. I saw it firsthand. I don't have any doubt that every team that he coaches and that he's a part of, and, I, and he has a, he's a pretty good noon baller too, by the oh, way. Yeah. Bang with some of the players, and this is this is how you seal the deal, though, is free throws. You, you called that yep. earlier. The free Lewis. throws are going to come down to it. I'm saying you've got, find, got a way to find a way to get it to done. Here's Schwartz. Schwartz for three. Air ball out of bounds to Pitt. Assistant coach Sheila Collins used to say, but even in the final seconds of the game, character is being measured. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not up for adversity, don't come play in the ACC. <laughs> Harris is now four for four from the line tonight, and that will extend the lead to six points. Schwartz has got to put it up. She does, and that's off the mark. Pitt will have it, and that's the ball game. It took over uh, two overtimes to do it, but the Pittsburgh Panthers come on the road and defeat Georgia Tech 85-79.